Well, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am your tutor, Figure Storm. So today we will be doing shear legs graphical calculation. Well, let's not waste any time. Let's just get right into it. So here is the question over here that we have. We have a pair of shear legs is separated at the bottom at a distance of two meters. The legs are each four meters in length. A six meter long backstay is provided and a 15 kilonewton load is suspended from the apex. Okay, the overhang is 1.5 meters. Determine the forces acting in the backstay and in each leg graphically. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do with this question is actually um, do a rough sketch of what is happening here. So first of all, we are told that uh, a pair of shear legs is separated at the bottom um, at a distance of two meters. So that's the first thing that we want to establish here. So we'll take our ruler just to do a rough sketch. Okay, and then we'll make this our first leg. Okay, and then the other one, let's say it's like this. It's right here. That's the other one. Okay, so this distance here between these two legs, that's the two meters that it's talking about over here let's name them uh let's name this a and that one let's name it b all right let's go back to the question and then it tells us that the legs are each four meters in length so each leg is four meters so that's four meters there and that's four meters there okay oh this was two meters all right and then it says a six meter long backstay. Okay, so we need we have to have uh, put a backstay of six meters. Let's just put it over here. Okay, let's say that's the backstay, and it's six meters long. Okay, let's go back to the question, and then. Uh, is provided and a 15 kilonewton load is suspended from the apex okay so our apex is obviously there let's call it o and then let's call this backstay c okay now let's uh draw okay so that would be 15 kilonewtons over there right there okay so that's our rough sketch we have everything that we need um but the overhang is 1.5 meters now if you know if we are to look at this thing on the side i'm just going to um put a rough sketch of how it would potentially look like if you look on the side that would be our backstay and then that would be our shear legs so they are saying we're hanging the load there the distance okay between there and where we're hanging the load that's the 1.5 that's what we call uh, an overhang okay so that's the backstay okay and then these are the shear legs the other one is behind this one you can't see it but it's a bit forward okay so from the apex to this leg which is let's say that's leg a and b is behind it then from the apex the distance from the apex to that leg that is what we call an overhang and it's 1.5 meters okay so now they say determine the forces acting in 
the back stay and in each leg graphically so they want the forces that are okay are in the back stay and the in the leg so the first thing we want to do um is to establish a scale okay let's start with a linear scale let's choose a linear scale let's say one centimeter is two is actually to uh one meter okay it's fair enough it will fit and then let's establish a, a force scale Let's say one centimeter will represent uh, how big is our force? 15 kilonewtons. Okay, let's say it will be 10 kilonewtons. One centimeter will represent 10 kilonewtons. Okay, that's our scale. Now, let's get right into it. When we are drawing it using this scale, we will first draw this line from A to B. Okay, so we will draw it vertically. Some um, when you draw these, try to be at the bottom from the bottom, um, but also try to draw it from the middle. Okay, so if I draw, okay, let's make that two centimeters. Okay, I will draw my two centimeters over there from 10 to 12 that's that's two okay over there that's two centimeters and then i need its bisection so that's where it is one centimeter so at one centimeter i mark it and then i will need to draw that bisection line okay just like that just draw it as long as you can okay just a long line like that okay so this is a over here b and it's two meters okay so we just drew a b two meters and then from there at half the distance we want to draw these legs at four meters which are four meters each okay so what we're going to do is that we're going to place our ruler there. Remember, four meters is represented by four centimeters. So we place our ruler there on A, and then we swing. We swing the ruler until it hits four centimeters on the, um, on the bisection line. And then we just draw it like that. Okay. And then from B, it's also going to be the same. Okay. Place the ruler there. And then, bam, just like that. So, we are going to call this is O. Okay. It's this O over there. So, we just drew that and that. Okay. From there... What we want to do is um, we will now do our collimation line. So we will place it at uh, 1.5. It, um, it's just a standard. One 1.5, okay, away from A. And then we draw the line. And draw it as long as you can all right okay so from there this point at the collimation line is a1 b1 we also need to extend this o to o1 okay now from there what we need to do is get a compass okay um because we will need it so we put 
it's on a1 b1 okay that's b1 as well on a1 b1 we put it there and then we put the other end on o1 and then from there we just draw our arc okay just a basic arc like that from there if you remember from the question we have a backstay uh, I mean an overhang sorry an overhang that's 1.5 meters so how are we gonna put the 1.5 and remember it's 1.5 from a from a which is a1 b1 in this case so we're gonna measure 1.5 centimeters okay puts us over there and then from there we just draw a construction line going up a uh, vertical one okay over there and that will give us our apex o okay so it's from o to o1 to o now the difference between this is that this is a top view so you are in top looking down and this is a side view you're looking on the side okay yeah now when you're looking on the side this is what i was trying to draw over here but um we're gonna do the backstay now so the backstay remember it's also from o to c okay so what we're gonna do and we are told that it's six meters long okay that's what we know we know it's six meters long so we'll take our ruler we'll place it at six centimeters and then we'll swing it until it hits it hits a um, it hits a zero okay so right there go ahead join those lines so now this means this becomes c1 okay and then to get c we can just extend a vertical line going down to the bisection line. That's our point C. We won't need it for any calculation, but you need it. You need to put it because uh, there's a mark for that. If you don't put it, um, you miss a mark. All right. So there we go. We are done now drawing the the legs. Okay. Just a reminder. This is leg AO and BO. These are the shear legs. And then that is the backstay. So on the backstay, we draw it using a um, side view. But we can also draw the same lines a, AO and BO um, on, the, on this by joining it to the axis okay so this is again is our leg ao and bo remember bo is behind ao okay and then now we know that there is there's a load hanging we've been told that the load is uh where is it there it is 15 kilonewtons and then we had a, a force scale here of one is 10 so to get 15 that's just 1.5 centimeters so we'll just make it solid 1.5 is there we'll make this line solid and over there okay that's that load okay now from there we're going to need a set square first thing you want to do we want to deal with the backstay so we're going to take our set square place the longest side of the set square the one that doesn't have numbers on the line okay make sure it's perfectly on the line okay like that and then take a ruler just a normal ruler you can place it this side or on top here it's it's really up to you but for 
the purposes of this, this discussion, I'll just place it here on the side. And then you move the set square, okay? Keep the ruler there. Don't move that ruler because what you're going to do is move this line and then you shift it down here to where it meets the load, where the load ends, okay? From there, you can remove that ruler, okay? Make sure this one, the set square doesn't move and then join where the load ends to that line, okay, to where the, the other leg is. From there, we're done with the backstay. We place on the shear leg the same thing. Place your set square on the side that is not numbered, and then place your ruler. Okay, it won't fit this side, so I'm going to put it this side just to make sure and then make sure it doesn't move and then from there you just swing it up swing it up until it hits the the where the load ends and then you can remove that one and then just draw a line okay just like that there it is now, what you want to do is to extend your line, your leg, beyond, uh oh, just for calculation purposes. So, you just go and place your ruler there and then extend it until it hits that line that you drew. Okay, so where these lines meet, let's call it M. And then here, where they meet here, let's call it M. N. Okay, now what I want you to know is this OM is uh, the force on the backstage O, the backstage OC. Let's put that down in writing. Okay, so we are saying OM, okay there is the force on the backstay which is OC and it's equals to okay now we need to measure it all right so you take your ruler you measure OM And when I put my ruler there, I get about uh, it's about 1.2. Okay, let's make it 1.2. But remembering our force scale, this is in centimeters. To convert it to kilonewtons, we need to multiply by 10, and we get 12 kilonewtons. Okay, so that's the force on the backstay. All right, now we need to go get the force on the, the shear legs now. Okay, in order to do that, we're going to need a compass again. Okay, so set up your compass. And then place it on AB. Okay, because actually ON is, is the force on the on the shear legs but we want to determine it on here on the uh, on the top view not on the side view on the side view we only determine the back stay okay so you put put it there put it on n okay and then um put it on n from n draw your arc Okay, so it's going to be like that. Good. Good, we got our arc. From there, we just want to extend the arc down. Okay. Down to the bisection line. So that's N, that's um, N1. So that's N again over there. 
in the bisection line. Cool. From there, we need our set square once again. So we'll take the set square, put it on one leg. Okay, let's start with the leg OA. Remember, place the side that doesn't have uh, numbers on the leg and then take your ruler, put it anywhere. Okay, so for the purposes of this one, I'll put it this side. Okay, and then I'll move it until it hits N. Okay, where N is over there. And then from there, I will draw a line to the leg like that. And then the next one is BO. I will place the long side again on BO perfectly like that. I'll put my ruler again over there. And then I will move it until it hits N like that. And then I will draw my line so i'm gonna call this one i'll call it t and that one i'll call it s so ot is actually the force on the leg o a okay so we can go ahead and write that down so we're gonna say ot is the force on leg, I'll write it down here, O A, which is equals to, now we need to measure it. We'll take our ruler, we'll measure it, O T. Now if we look, O T, ruler. It's about 1.1. So it's 1.1. And remember, we need to convert it to a force. This is in centimeters. To convert it to a force, we multiply by 10. We get that the force is 11 kilonewtons. Okay. Now we just have to write a statement again and say OS is the force on leg OB. So we're going to say OS is the force on, on leg um, OB, which is also equals to 1.1 times 10, which is equals to 11 kilo. Newtons. That's it. So we've answered the question. It wanted us to determine graphically the forces acting on the backstay, which is OC. We've determined it to be 12 and on the other legs, which is 11 and 11. That's all. Well asked and answered. Thank you very much.